Today we're going to be talking about uh, the different types of energies, okay? Different types of energies. And we're going to start off with chemical energy. And by the time the lecture finishes, by the time the lecture finishes, you should have some idea of what chemical energy does for us, okay? I want you to take a minute and um, let me know what are some of the things that we use in everyday life that use batteries. Flashlights, what else? Remote. Cars, remotes, phones, phones. what else? Xbox remote, what else? Wii remotes, Wii remotes, Wii remotes. okay. A computer, every remote in recorded history. Every single remote, how about hearing aids? How about watches? Yeah. Alarm clocks? Oh yeah. okay. what about TVs? All devices, all devices. okay. Um, what else uses a uh, battery? Clocks. Uh, Clocks. Clocks, very good. Cameras, very good. Um, speakers. Phones. Flashlights. TVs. What is it? Tablets. What else? I. Well, okay. All right. Take a minute. Take a minute to ponder, think about what would this world be? Forget the world. What would my house be like? What would your house be like if everything that used the battery had to be plugged in? No, wouldn't be dark. If batteries did not exist, Miss Alondra, and everything in my house that uses a battery, Danny, had to be plugged in, there would be wires everywhere. There would be there would be outlets. Everywhere. Everywhere. If we, listen, if we, Dylan, had to plug in every remote, every computer, every phone, every watch, every alarm clock, every what else? Every, the car. We had to plug in the car too. How would you describe all the cables in our house, all the wires coming up? Why would it, why would you describe it as chaos? Uh, picture this. I know that I know that you all. I don't think any of you use a. Uh, a, uh, a <laughs> I know any uh, no one no one here uses a hearing aid, but what would happen if the hearing aid had to be plugged in? If we could not hear and uh and it had to be plugged in, how how would people follow us around to talk to us? With, 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 with all these wires? Um, what would happen if the remote control had to be plugged in? You wouldn't use the remote? Lose? Oh, you wouldn't lose it. How many of you remember, Brandon? Uh, maybe if you go to grandma's house, maybe she still has one. How many of you remember those phones that had the longest cord ever? How many of you still have those around? How many of you grandma still has those around? Now, we uh, went, guys, we went from having that whole cord, right? We went to to the little antenna phone, the, the cordless oh, yeah. phone. Yeah. How many of you remember the cordless phone? That would beep if it was like, if it didn't have enough battery, right? It would like beep. You had to put it back on the charger. And we went from that to wireless, right? To 
Um, we went from that to remember those. Remember these phones, the ones that you had to hold like this. They were really big. The cell phones. Does anybody have their device with them right now? Let me let me see. Okay. We went from phones that could kill someone if you threw it at them okay, <laughs> to thin designs. Do you have a thinner one? This, this has a thick casing around it. Okay, it's a pretty thin phone. Uh, let me see yours. We went from those phones Thick phones to the to that. How thin it is. Now, what keeps getting thinner and thinner? No, not the phone. The battery. The battery. Let me see yours then. Miss, I saw the history of, of phones missing Google. It was Miss. I saw the history of Mozilla. I saw the huge phone. This is thinner. Okay. We have gone. That's an iPhone. Now, now this is even smaller and thinner than this. Okay. Now, what has gotten better? What has evolved? The, the, the phones have evolved? Yes. But the battery has evolved. Yes? Thank you. Figure out which one belongs to who. Right here, Sebastian. All right. This is what I want you to learn today. The battery has come a long ways. And the battery was part of our world back in 1799. Wait, battery? Battery. Wait, wait. Did they put it into... You don't want to know. Uh, this, you put the history of phones, it tells you how big the phones were, tiny phones. Back in... Uh, 1799, the first battery was produced. Can you, I, can you just picture what that battery looked like? Probably as big as the desk. Okay. Now, do you understand where voltage comes from? Volt, Italian scientist, Mr. Volta. What was his birthday? Mr. B's class. I heard Mr. B yeah. had introduced this gentleman. Okay. 1799. Wait. We are in. How many years ago? A thousand and. A thousand? A thousand. A thousand. Excuse me. Uh, Batteries have come a long ways. Batteries, as you and I know them, come in a lot of different sizes. Okay? You've got the small ones, the not so small ones, the D cells, the, the, thick, the thick ones, the circular ones, the cylindrical ones. The oval-ish one? Uh, there's the six volt battery. Wait, what? 250, 200, 200 years ago. Huh? 250 years ago. Okay, 250 years ago. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. So batteries have been around for 215 years. Very good. There's batteries as we know them right now. There's the car batteries, right? Yeah. Dylan? There's the AAA, which is probably what you use in your remote controls. Some of your remote controls don't use AAA. So, uh, you know what uses AAA? I think it's the DVD players, yeah. DVD player. But the remote controls for the TV, they use AA. No, not the all little, of them. Not, not all of them. Not all of them? OK, all right. Mine do. Between A, between AAA and AAA. Yeah. Now, D cells, that's where your little motorized cars run in, the thick ones. Yeah. What else? What else what can you? What about the square one, man? What? Oh, the square ones. Very good. Yeah, that, that was the one I'm trying to tell. You've got the. That one, and then you've got the square one. 
Okay, the fire, the fire alarm. The tiny, tiny one? How about the really, the oh, really, yeah. really, 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 the really, really, the really, 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 the really, really, the really, 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 very good, very good question. Right here. That little itty bitty one? Let me see it. Bring it over. Where did you take that out of? Your flashlight? Okay. That one? Okay. The little the little pocket flashlights use these kind of batteries. And these are, let me read read it off of here. These are, yes, I do. It doesn't say the. Okay. Let me do this. <laughs> These are the flashlight batteries. Let me see the flashlight that go into this. This is like a little mag light, a little, okay. All right, here you go, Alondra. Thank you for sharing. Okay. Uh, batteries come in different sizes, okay? Um, do boats use batteries? Uh, does a boat have a battery? Cars have batteries. How about motorcycles? Yes, they do. How big is the battery? It's not that big. It's for a car. Okay. What I want you to understand before you leave today is that batteries have chemical energy inside. Okay? Batteries have chemical energy inside. The battery that we're gonna, going to be um, viewing today the most common in our lives. Okay. The battery we're going to be talking about today is uh, is a six volt. And we're getting ready to see what that's going to do. Today, the first topic is chemical energy. If you look over there, we have the different, the seven different kinds of energies. I know that you remember that topic, right? Mm -hmm. Chemical energy is in there. Notice that we just finished talking about heat energy, right? Mm -hmm. And chemical energy is the topic for today. Okay. 